Down here in the corner of shame is this mini mill that I got from Harbor Freight a few years back and now I've used and I have abused this thing so much that I actually broke it. Uh, I was going to repair it. However, for the project that I had in mind, I figured it would be better just to get a whole new machine because this one has definitely seen better days. Now up here on the table, we have a brand new central machine milling machine. Now this little guy will run you about $899.99. And my plans are to convert this manual milling machine into a fully CNC mini milling machine. Now I'm not gonna be doing this all in one video. We're gonna do this piece by piece. And in this video, we're going to be replacing the transmission gear setup that they have in here, which failed on my old mill with this belt pulley system from littlemachineshop.com. Now the mill comes with all of these tools that you see here, which are probably more than enough tools that we're gonna to need to do the job. However, I'm not gonna use these because I got power tools. So let's get right into it. Let me adjust the camera so you can see what I'm doing up here. Now before we go and tear this thing apart, I'm gonna do a little demonstration showing how noisy it is from factory. I'm wearing a mic, so you're gonna hear it as if you are standing in front of it. Let's go and fire it up. Yeah, as you can see, it's pretty noisy. Now this belt conversion should quiet that up significantly. All right, let's get into it. Let's take this thing apart. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure that your speed selector is in the high position, which it is right here. We wanna make the spindle motor go down as low as it can get just to make it easier to access everything. And then we're gonna remove this cap. Now right here, there's an Allen set screw. That's a size three. We're gonna go ahead and remove that. And then you need the spanner wrench and this lever here that came with the machine. Now right here, there's a tiny hole that this fits inside of. You're gonna spin the spindle until it snaps in there, holding that so that we can loosen this nut. All right, so now that we got this locked in here, we're gonna go ahead and take our spanner wrench and remove this nut. All right, so now we need to remove the motor and this plate right here. Now that is a five millimeter. And we're gonna go ahead and zip those right off. Oh, don't forget to remove this. <laughs> and then that will come off. All right, now we gotta remove this plate from the motor. So that is a Phillips head. Let me grab a Phillips head screwdriver, careful of this cable here, you don't want to stretch it out. So I'm going to balance this on here so that it doesn't fall. Okay, I got a Phillips head screwdriver. I'm going to remove these screws. And voila. All right, now this little gear right here, this is, I need a small Phillips. This gear is the first thing that broke in my old mill. I tried 3D printing new ones successfully. Uh, it worked for a little while, but they ended up breaking. They all just kept breaking. So I ended up getting uh, steel gear from the same company, Little Machine Shop. And that worked really well. A lot louder, it made the machine a lot louder. However, eventually, after me abusing it for maybe six months or so, the transmission gears in here ended up grinding. So I recommend 
if you're gonna do the steel gear, they'd also have upgraded transmission gears, or you can just go with a belt conversion and get rid of the whole transmission itself. All right, got the right size screwdriver. We're gonna remove this gear right here. Eh, everything's greasy. All right, there's also a little keyway in here. Don't want to lose that. I'm going to take that off as well, if you can. Got it. All right, now the last step of disassembly is removing the gear off of the motor. I'm going to need some clip tools. So let me go grab that. We need external. All right, now this is a very tight fitting gear here, so we might have to do the old double flathead screwdriver trick, maybe. I feel like he's gonna shoot me in the face. Oh! Be careful of those cables. Now you guys can't see this, but this shaft is actually mushroomed over a little bit, keeping the gear from coming off. So I'm gonna take a file. And I'm just gonna make it a little easier on me. All right. Now that should come right off. Oh, it's definitely going to hit me. <laughs> Be very careful of the cables. I'm going to have to reset the whole machine after this, but we're getting this gear off one way or another. So close. We're so close. Victory! Now be careful not to lose this keyway because you need it for the pulley. That good? Now for the kit. Kit comes with this machined aluminum housing. That the motor sits here, the pulley's in there with the belt, and that sits right up top like that. It's very nice, very nicely made. I like it. Well, what we're looking for is this little vinyl tube. This goes over where the old gear was on the head here. It's a very tight fit, so we might need to heat it up. Now I'm assuming this is just to protect the uh, belt from hitting this. All right, that is on there nice and good. Ah, now this keeps the shaft from dropping down while it's running. And it also says not to get it hot. So if you're gonna use a heat gun, do it a little bit. It says you can put it in your pocket or run it under warm water. Heat gun worked for me and it's already hardened up pretty good, so we're gonna run with it. However, you can do all the work to remove this entire spindle head off of uh, the track here, and you can remove the gears from the inside. There's a cavity. I'm just gonna leave them in there. Maybe someday I'll remove it, but for now, 
we're gonna leave them in. All right, now for the installation. You do not actually need to use any of the socket head bolts that came with the mill. It comes with their own countersunk ones, which are pretty nice. So the next step is we're going to place this on the machine and we're going to put our screws in. Now we need the large pulley, which is the bigger of the two. <laughs> I'm gonna take that. Wow, that is a nicely machined pulley. Very cool. Looks like you got your varial speeds here taking place of the transmission. Now I'm not quite exactly sure. Ah, this comes out. This comes out too. Don't forget to take this out. Now this goes down in. Just like that. And now we got to take our spanner wrench and our stop tool and do the opposite. Oh, can't use this tool anymore. Doesn't fit. So we're going to stick a screwdriver in there. Just like that. And... We're gonna put, oh, it's left-handed thread as well. Don't, uh, don't forget that, like I did. And we're gonna take this and we're just gonna tight, tighten her back up. Now that we got the pulley on, no more gears. Don't, don't forget to reinsert the set screw. Now for the little guy. Wow. We need the keyway. All right. Yeah. And it comes with a set screw in there. Now the rest should be pretty self-explanatory. We got a belt. We're gonna put this on our pulleys. Depending on how fast you want, you can look into the gearing. I'm just gonna go with the upper. Now we're gonna put the lever on there. Uh, it's right up against the motor, so I'm gonna make it a little easier on myself. I'm gonna remove this Phillips screw and spring. Careful, don't lose the spring. Remove this, and we're just going to spin it in by hand. Oh, wait a minute. Don't forget the washer. Washer's pretty important. Oh. Then we're going to put this back on, and then we're going to put the screw in the washer. And, uh, and then we're going to tighten that back up. Now I can loosen that, adjust tension on my belt, tighten that down. And we are looking good. Look at that. I bet this thing's going to be silent now. Two last steps that are optional. You got this little plexi cover shield, OSHA. That goes right on here and is held in with this. Eventually. And then our zip tie to replace the one we cut off earlier that may or may not be shown in this video. Boom. Let's plug her back in and do a little noise test. 
Oh, I'm excited. You guys ready? Wow. Much quieter. Now, I was pretty happy with how quiet the belt conversion made it on its own. However, I decided to go ahead and pull the transmission gears out. And I can show you what that looks like inside here. This is another one of these off the other mill. The, these gears were on this shaft right here. I just pulled these out and I'll show you how quiet it is now. Beautiful. Definitely worth it. Well, as you can see, that was a fairly simple install. Maybe it would have taken me 20 minutes if I wasn't recording. Hopefully this video answered any questions that you might've had before watching the video. Don't forget to follow, subscribe, whatever. See what we do to this thing next. The little machine shop. Look at the size of this catalog. They sell everything. They sell everything I need to convert this to CNC.